Today we'll learn about the feedback loop, how does it work, and why your body doesn't boil when your hot crash walks into the room. There are two types of feedback loops, positive and negative. Let's start with the negative one. Negative feedback loop is a mechanism your body uses to keep your internal balance, or homeostasis. To achieve homeostasis, all of your internal conditions like blood pressure, pH, or body temperature need to be in balance. Let's say something disturbs your body, for example your hot crash walks into the room, or there is any other reason why the temperature is high. The high temperature is a stimulus, a variable, or a disturbance of your precious homeostasis. The stimulus is required by receptors, in this case thermoreceptors, mainly located in your skin. The receptors send the information to the control center through a neuronal pathway called afferent pathway. Why afferent? because it's hot AF. Remember, afferent from the receptors to the control center. The control center is your brain or spinal cord. Basically something that decides what to do with this information. If the control center decides that the stimulus is outside of the optimal range, we need to do something about it. In our example, let's say it's getting really hot in there, so your body temperature is way above the normal. The control center sends the information about what to do to the effector and takes place through a neural pathway called efferent pathway. Why efferent? Because it goes to the effector Remember, efferent is from the control center to the effector. The effector can be a muscle, a gland, or any other structure that does something in your body. In our example, sweat glands in your skin are the effector. After they receive the information from the brain, they start to secrete sweat, which cools down the body through evaporation. As the body temperature decreases, the stimulus is balanced and the loop is closed. So boiling of your organs is not a threat anymore, and you have achieved homeostasis. What's important? The effect or the action of the body is opposite or negative to the stimulus. That's why it's called a negative feedback loop. The feedback loop can also increase the body temperature. Let's say your crash is not in the room anymore and you live in Canada, so your body temperature decreases. Now the low body temperature is the stimulus and your receptors will send information about it to the control center by the afferent pathway. Why afferent? Because it's called AF this time. Remember, afferent is from the receptors to the control center. Now the control center sends the information about what to do to the effectors, in this case, your muscles. Your muscles will start to shake, which you can experience as shivering. This will increase the body temperature and balance the stimulus. And again, the action of the body is negative to the stimulus. That's why it's called a negative feedback loop. Okay, cool, but how about the positive feedback loop? Positive feedback loop is a mechanism to intensify some process in your body. Let's say, for example, that you're about to deliver a baby. The baby pushes against the cervix and stretching of the uterus is the stimulus. The stretch receptors send the information about that to your control center, aka brain. And guess how is the neural pathway called? Afferent, because it's important AF, the baby is in the way. Remember, afferent is from the receptors to the control center. The pituitary gland releases hormone called oxytocin to your bloodstream. Oxytocin stimulates the uterine muscles to contract. Contractions push the baby even stronger, which causes more pushing, which causes more oxytocin, more contractions, more pushing, more oxytocin, more contractions, more... Pu you get it. It's a loop until the baby is out. The point is that the action of the body supports or is positive to the stimulus. That's why it's called a positive feedback loop. What's interesting about this example is that the efferent pathway, aka from the control center to the effector, was chemical. It's because a hormone triggered the muscles, not a direct neural connection. Okay, that's it. Subscribe if you want more bio content like that. Bye. The baby. <laughs>